Hi, uh, let's learn how to build the quiz using React and WordPress REST API. Um, for this tutorial, I'm using the Sublime Text version 3 because they have a Babel in JavaScript, so we can use the JSX also. But before that, let's create just the wrapper of this. Uh, of our plugin as an introduction. Let's create a new folder in the plugins part of your WordPress installation. And let's, I'm not sure, let's call it React WP Quiz. I think I don't have that folder here. Oh, let's find it out. Oh, actually, I'm gonna close, yeah, it's here, empty. I'm gonna close this now and we'll open just this this one so we don't have to look at all that let's go to plugins and then go here great okay so let's create now a new file and save it as wpquiz.php great so since it's a php let's do it like this Plugin name WP quiz in React, and that's actually all that we need. Let's make something like this to make it more secure from the execution on, on the outside, and then let's use a class. I'll name it WP WordPress quiz React like that and then I'll also uh, let's say create a public function includes and here we will store includes let's also create a new folder inside here like that and since this uh, plugin will use a post type and some meta boxes and also the rest API uh, let's create just just empty files so let's create the class wpqr metaboxes.php close it down and create a new one which is class wpqr rest api.php great so now we have that there and then let's also include them all even though nothing will happen for now class wpqr metaboxes.php and i'll just copy this one here and say rest api okay so now we have that and we want uh, we will load this not in a constructor but with a low load um, load function let's say loading all required actions like that and then we'll add a new action and this one will be on initialization and we will create a custom post type so this will say let's say load cpts or register cpts whatever you want to call it you can and then we will create a public function because we uh, it needs to be public so we, this can access it the add action or can access this function otherwise i think it won't work but you can try it okay and now uh I already have the code so I'll copy the uh, all the code just so the this tutorial doesn't take too long but here it is so uh, to copy that just pause the video and then check check that out so pause pause this part for labels and copy all of it and then here it is post this also part for arguments and the register post type function 
and we're registering a question uh, a question custom post type where we will add new new ones and new questions and answers of course okay and now let's also load our plugin and we will do that in add action plugins loaded like that wpqr load we can do it like this and then have a function which will say plugin new qr then plugin includes include all of all the things we need and load of course we could have a single method run or something like that that will do both of it but just for simplicity here it is okay uh, let's save it let's go to plugins load this up it's loaded yeah and let's check for our own quiz i think it's yeah i'm not sure how did i call our plugin let's see it's called wp quiz so wp quiz in react okay activate it whoa we have an error call to member function load on null so what did they do new wp q QR plugin. This is it. Oh, plugins. Sorry. Refresh. Great. So now our plugin is activated and we have questions here. So that's it. Of course, I already have some questions because I've done this code uh, for the written tutorials. So, but you will probably have this empty. So you can add some questions or not it's up to you or you can wait until we build the meta boxes for the answers also okay so let's now uh, deal with our own uh, meta box class uh, let's open this up here okay and then we how do we do that well we need to register the meta boxes and our meta box before we register them let's build them so this is it here create the php tag and then let's go with the class of wpqr meta boxes like that and then let's build a static one and why is a static one because we this function doesn't need an instantiation of this class it's just a wrapper so we can use it's always the same doesn't change okay so we have a post id right i'm also saving us time by not writing the comments right now but you can check my written article uh, written tutorials on these comments but just to save time let's not do that right now and then say answers get post meta post id of course you won't have the answers but this is how we will get them okay and then we'll close the tags and open them again and create now a table wpq are answers if you want to style them form table like this because the form table is already in wordpress and the styles are defined for it then in the head our table we will have a tr with it what well, not table column with a strong that will say uh, php escape html e answer like this great and i'll just copy it and paste it here and say points and then we can say t body and then we can go like that for 
less than three because we will have three answers and you can do that to use more than than three but for just for simplicity we will use the three answers okay and then the column will have a type text the name will be answers like this value will be if is set answers on that indexed on that index and if answers on that uh, let's pull this each down so you can see it better so if we have an answer on the index and that answer has a text like that then show it just mm, great then show it like that or just show an empty string okay let's close the, the value I didn't even open it here like that and then we just want to add a class uh, white fat and close the input let's also copy that again for the points column and say wpqr points and here is points and also here and if there is none it's zero okay so now we have this part to for the answers and we also need to have a way to save the answers and how will that be well we will on click on the post submit we will submit this and this and then we will join them so the first in answers the first one is also the first point the second answer is the second point uh, is related to the points on this uh, in the sec second item of the points like say it like that so that will also be a public and static function save and that save method will receive post id and post and we can do now so if the question is not get post type post then just return it if it's an autosave also return it then let's say if defined ajax before uh, because um, and ajax is true also return it because sometimes workers will do some ajaxes well you are editing the content and we don't want that to happen and if a user can't edit posts and that means it does it won't be able to edit questions it shouldn't be able to edit questions we will not do anything and then let's also make sure that it is set in the request that we have wp wp wpqr answers and also wqr points let me scroll down a bit okay and now we'll build an uh, array with answers and then for each posted answer like that so for each posted answer we'll say order or index whatever and the answer is the text then we will say create an array 
which will hold the text of the answer like this and add points zero just by default and then let's say that if there is a posted points there is a post point for that answer like that then inside of that array inside of that array points let's add float value the same point so w q r points order okay and now we can add to answers order array oh and that is inside the for each server that so add that answer to the order and add that array okay and then let's update post meta post id meta key will be w pqr answers the value will be this array that we have built and that's it okay save it okay and how do we attach both of these methods here in our main so we will do that in the load part and how do we do that we'll just check if we are on the admin side then let's add an action to add meta boxes which will have our own public method to register meta boxes that's the first one and we'll also add an action to save post and an array this save meta boxes okay so now like that and now we will build both of those methods first is the register meta box so let's build it here public function register meta boxes right and when register meta boxes we don't receive anything and actually we don't need anything here we just want to add the meta box question answers answers then say add title add text domain array since this is a, those methods are static we can actually you make it like that and then the method so the class and the static method that we are going to use and for which custom post type great and now we also use this to save meta boxes like that and when saving meta boxes we are actually receiving uh, two i think it's two let's say post id and post but to receive both of those we need to add that admin here we want two not one okay and then what we will do a simple one like this meta boxes static method save and provide the post id and post great now we have that let's check if we have any errors great on 48 inside of meta boxes let's check it out 48 is this one and probably something which is missing let's see yeah okay so now if i go to question two we'll have some questions that i have already done and let's add a new one and we'll check the network for all the possible here so let's say new question how are you and let's say great is 10 points good is 5 points and brilliant is 15 points okay and we will check how that is done here so publish okay let's check the request here what has happened so if we check on we'll say the answer great and you can see immediately the point 
is 10. Answer is good, the point is 5. Answer brilliant, the point is 15. Okay, and that's it. But how all that is mapped? And it's mapped, you can see that it works. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, and let's see just more dump answers. And you can see that it's mapped like that. So the first answer, that, is mapped with the first point given. The first text is mapped with the first, the, the second uh, answer with the second points and the third one with the third points. And that's it. Pretty, uh, I think it's pretty simple to understand. I hope so. Uh, okay, so now we have the answers and we have uh, the questions, we can enter questions, we can enter uh, the, the answers and that's great. But what now, let's also see what about the REST APIs. So since we are going to use the REST API here to get the questions, let's check here and let's now go and add here. So to, to register the routes, we need to go to add action and say REST API initialization and that is it here. And then we will have again a static function, REST API register routes. Great. Okay, for now this plugin won't work because this doesn't exist yet. But let's build it. Go to our second file. Name the class WPQR REST API and then set a public starting function register routes. And then register REST route. First, we'll say the namespace of the route and that's it. So we can access it like that. You'll see how. And then the following one, which is questions. Like that. Now we have something where we can say your site.com wpjson wpqr version one questions and we should receive something on the ten point on that route and we need to pass an array with several parts so the methods will have wp rest server server readable so for this one we only accept readable uh, methods so we don't we accept the readable request which is a get but not a post so we want to accept and post and this class get questions like that since we are using this class we are also creating a static function so we'll use public static function get questions and then we'll say questions get transient wpqr rest questions and why we're we using the transient because uh, since questions are that's not something that will let's say we don't have to to render and get all the questions all the time for each request since they are there there won't be uh, too much changes okay and now let's build an argument an array of arguments for the wp wp query so what we need we need the post type which is question then we need the post status which is publish we don't want something that are questions that are on the drafts or something like that then we need to order them ascending order and order by its date and i think that's by default but i'll just keep it right there 
Um, then posts per page. Uh, let's say 500. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone wants to to complete a quiz with 500 questions, but let's keep it right there. No found rows to true. Cache results. We are already caching them, but let's keep it true. Update post term cache uh, to false because we don't want to cache anything here because we are we will cache our own array false okay oh yeah I already started building this but actually if false questions then we will actually build that because we if we already received some questions we don't need it and then we can just return questions but if we don't have we'll need to build the query so the query and uh, the question that we are here first the questions will be an empty array then we'll bring the query let's build it now with wp query and pass the arguments and then let's say if query if query have posts then while query have posts and at the end of the while or oh, we'll at the beginning we'll say query the post to set the global post to the current post and then we need to reset post data okay and let's say so the first the single question array will build that and push it in the questions array so the first one will be the id of the question get the id then title we need the title for that get the title we also need the content like that get the content and we don't, any, we don't need anything like that just simple content and then we also need the answers okay so get post meta get the i actually like to use the id with the small id uh, get the id w wp qr answers qr answers and true because we need we want a single one okay so if is array answers so we are checking now if we have answers what do we need to do well actually uh, we need to only to get the text and not um, we don't actually need the points because if we are going to if you are going to uh, let's build it like this if we are going to send this to REST API, anyone could see the actual points and let's say cheat on the quiz. And let's use the, I think it's block, right? So the list is our answers. And the field we want to retrieve is text. Okay, I think that should work. And then if we have any answers we will add this question to our main global questions array like that okay and the last part is this one and that is to set the transient 
wqr rest questions our value is questions and the expiration well will for one day or 24 hour in seconds or one day in seconds whatever you want and that's it save it okay now we should actually i think we should be able to check on let's say w e json questions no we have an error on line 32 let's go to the line 32 whoa okay and line 58 let's go now to the line 58 and yeah same column refresh yeah so now we are getting the the questions and we are getting the answers and you can see the answers are only text 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 so what uh, what does this do is go through an array and then uh, for each of that array we assign which child uh, property or which child key should they only return and then it goes through all and returns only that uh, that property under that key okay so now we have built the questions part and we also need the results part so let's register another route result like that and this is creatable so post put or something like that get result and now we'll be build the public static public static function get result result like that and we will uh, receive a request parameter and then we can go to parameters and say request get body params so uh, we'll look into that as if we are uh, posting a form and when posting a form the body of that form is sent in the request of, and the inside the body of the request will be the body of the form with all the inputs and values and everything and then i'll say if not is set, is set parameters answers so we, we don't have any answers just return a new wp error that will say no answers and the message will be there are no answers please answer the questions okay wqr save it so if there are let's say that the current score is zero the top score is zero and the percentage is zero okay and now for each parameters answers and this parameter will be saved will be posted uh, each array the key will be the question ID and the answer will actually be the order of that answer and then answers get post meta question for that question ID get the answers if there are any answers or let's say uh, if there aren't any answers just continue the for each and if there are the top of this question will be zero the question score will be zero and then for each answers 
as order array if this array so if we have any points for that question and they are much more than question top then the current question top will be this so that those are the top the the highest possible score will that be for that question and then if I order apps in because we know the order will be an integer is the same as apps in answer So that means that uh, this answer, this is the order of, of the selected answer. So if they are the same, then that's the score for that. For that answer. Like that. So what's going on here? We are going through all the answers of that question. If the uh, given answer order, posted one, is the same as the current answer in the question that we are checking, then that's the current score of that question. And if the array points of this current answer are more than the question top, then the question top means this, because this we are using to calculate the the top the maximum possible score and this is for the current score and then after the for each we are adding to top we are adding the question top and then on score we are adding the question score okay and now after all that so the for each is done We'll say if top is more than zero and and score is more than zero, then the percentage must be float value score divided by top times one hundred, and then we are returning an array top is top score is score and the percentage is percentage save it okay and now what will happen if i go here and result nothing so we can't push that and there is an interesting application which i want to show you and that's the postman with whom we can actually do custom post request so let's say questions no result here it is and in the body we are adding question answer and so on we can remove this and let's send unexpected and we can see the raw and we can see if we have some warnings debug Warning invalid supply for for each on line uh, 85. Okay, let's go here on line 85. Why? So, what's that? Answers get post meta question ID WPKR. If not, answers continue for each. Okay. Let's see. Invalid arguments applied for for each on line fifty-one. Okay, that doesn't matter. But it seems like there is no so let's say what should we get for that? If I post again. So we get the array, this is the answer, this is the second, this is the third. 
and then we get zero for something okay well if not answers the value should continue not go to for each so I'm not sure why Let's see what should I get with that. Post, false, and true. Right. So if not answers, we continue. And if answers, we should go inside it. Oh, that's a really weird, weird one. Answer, answers. Do I have something? Answer, answers. And then change anything here, right? So answer is this. Answer is this. Answer is here. Answer is here, here, here. Like that okay so the first one is fine the second one it's not fine hmm okay question id let's say if not an array continue let's say what will happen here again an array expect at least two one game well not in array but is array if not is array uh, let's go back send okay and again we have something that is not correct to continue I'm not sure why that doesn't work but if we go here and say if is there a answers like this say if is there a answers like that okay okay so now it's working i'm really not sure why that wasn't working before but now the 15 10 and percentage but what if i also include our new one which is 2896 and say that the answer is good so that's 0 1 2 1 go to postman and say answers like that and it's one so the score should be 15 and the top one should be 30 i think yeah and right and at the half great so our rest api is working it does retrieve everything let's see yeah we have question one question two new question how are you great and as you can see the answers are only with the text and with no points uh, okay uh, so we are done with our checking of that we are done with that and in, in the next uh, part of this tutorial we will start building the react app